Y'all got it? Shalom. church in a dang on hoopty and your pastor then came up and pulled up in a brand new Cadillac Escalade. Right? They're not helping our community. They're not helping our people. They are destroying our people because our people have a lack of knowledge. Right? They get that, uh, that more of that? Yeah. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because that has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. What's the most I say? I will also reject thee because we reject this knowledge. Because our people are going so busy on this Shabbat, running to and fro, and they reject taking a flyer. They reject spending five minutes to learn who they are according to the scripture. The most I say is also going to reject them. So it's a big thing when you don't have enough time on your busy schedule to stop and listen to your neighbor and Hebrew Israelites. Right? We are in each and every neighborhood and community across this world, spreading the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we are the people of Israel. Bring that, that out. We are the chosen people of the Most High God. And if you don't got enough time in your busy schedule to stop and take a flyer, you're going to be destroyed too. Right? Right? The Most High is going to reject you. You know? You know? So thou shalt be the priest for me. See that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God? 
I will also forget thy children. What's going on, brother? Got a minute to look for all the to the scriptures so that you won't be destroyed. We all need to get in our knowledge and understanding of who we are to the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. And yet these seasons when they out there teaching our children is not like that. And so in school, don't do the different things that they teach us to do with kids. In school, making a little kid look like it's okay to be a transsexual. That is okay to dress up in the photographs. So that's what they call it. They gave me instead of teaching children that they need to be. You got followed by that. You got followed by that. That's the first thing you had a question on, so it's cool. No, I just <laughs> Israelites. See, they call us by these names, right? But we're actually called these names in the Bible. And what they do when they call us these names is they separate us. They keep some in South America. They kept some of us up here in slavery. They sent some of us over to the Caribbean in slavery. And they kept us in slavery. And they still keep us in slavery to this day. So if you don't have the proper knowledge of who you are, yeah, you are Twenty and two. The book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse two. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He brought us out of the land of Egypt. He just said he's going to put us back in the land of Egypt. So the land of Egypt actually symbolizes right. It's not just saying he's going to go back to Egypt, the land, right? It's symbolizing something that we had to endure as a one of our Hispanic brothers and our Native American brothers. Because we're the only people on the earth that actually have experienced that. All together, 
Said it would be what? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a for a wonder. Right? Uh, 
So here's another thing that I am in our community. A way to recognize that we are actually the true Jews of the Bible. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Not these fakers that are over there. That's how uh, the Israel is here, right? That's one of them down here. Right? Israel are not the true Jews of the Bible. Right? Yes, sir. We definitely got there. We got there. Cards, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. So back in like the 60s, you know what I'm saying? We got like a brother's love. You see your brother, you're not brother, you know what I'm saying? And that's right. You turn the man, we call each other brothers. So we're saying the man is tender and delicate among you. Him. Walk by him.
You're not even supposed to be on the sidewalk. and feet on it. that out. Now that you're talking about that thing, 
right, the knowledge about who we are, they took that knowledge. They took that knowledge and kept it under the Uh, 714. Hebrews, yeah. That's right. God. <laughs> the most I don't give a damn about the life. Right. He cares about us. He 
he said, we are the special people. We are above all the nations that are on the face of huh. the earth. We covered everything in one statement. That's why I don't think we're going to be Right? So the more and more, this, you see us brothers, I mean, I'm a J.R. Smith on this corner right now. You know what I'm saying? What my dad be up in the picture of everything with I was kind of like a year ago when he was like, I'm a J.R. Smith on this corner. All of them just left me. I know who we are. So you speak to some of them. Like Kyrie Irving with his shoes, with the fringes on his shoes. Different ones, they start to see the world as weird. They seem to be a different thing. Speak with the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. And do what? Bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. So that's what you see on our shirt. The most high said, like if you see a Muslim man, he got a long shirt on. Right. You see a Muslim man, he got a long shirt on.
estaba diciendo, me Thank you. 
you want to win, lose, do you want to win, only come up on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got nothing to do with this. Right? Instead of me going in, like, you know, you're going to be
Shall not round the corners of your head. No, 
other shall buy more in the corners of thy ear.
Because you're going to the cotton field, boy. And you, <laughs> you can't appeal to the most high. So what are you, what are you looking for in Babylon, man? What is left here? Are you serious? This place is going to the crack of dawn. Three kids. For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the like to read that thing. For the Luke, chapter 15 and verse 10. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels. Of God over one sinner that repents. There's joy in the presence of the angels. Of Yahweh Shimashiach over one sinner that repents. Over what? So hey, if we plant a seed and Brother Tyler, we don't know, you know, we ain't gonna say he might be out here another couple of months, but maybe he will. Right. Through the spirit. And power of Yahweh Shimashiach. There's joy in the presence of the angels over one sinner. Go ahead. Over one sinner that repented. Over one sinner that repented. And the brother, see, learn about going to bed. Learn about not even talking to you. Learn about wearing the fringes. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Because sooner or later, like I tell you, man, this truth is going to hide itself. We ain't going to be out here readily available to y'all, man. We not, especially when the Lord starts judging. They said they're going to make the economy so bad, so bad, the people are going to just collapse. It's just going to collapse, and it's going to be complete anarchy. I saw that on uh, uh, somebody shared it in the chat with it. The white man was crying. Some hillbilly redneck guy. He said, I own my own paint company, and I still can't make it in America with this economy. The man was crying. The man said, I can't feed my family. I own my own paint company, and I can't feed my family. America has disappointed you. Oh, Richie Cunningham with the white boy, too. Red hair, the little big, big hillbilly Richie Cunningham. Yeah, they, they shared it in the chat today. The Edomite was the friend. The man was crying like a baby. Because that hurts a man's pride, man. Even though he's Esau, he's a damn devil. We really don't care. We so go right to the children of Satan. But it hurt his pride, man. Because the man said, listen, and you know what he's thinking in his mind, I'm a white man. I'm a white man and I can't make it in my own kingdom. I'm a bump in my own world. Man, you know how much that, that is, it's not even a fact that he can't feed his family as much as the, his pride is destroyed, man. His pride is finished, man. I'm a white man, and I can't feed my family in America. But you got these black niggas with their hands on their eyes, and they on Instagram with bundles of money like, like a phone. Come on, man, that drives Esau up the wall. I don't understand that Jake the Bull is there passed out for the white man that's been over. But to Esau, it's like, this nigga with his pants hanging off his ass. He's on social media with a brick of money like this. Because the most I use different things to antagonize the people. And now his daughter wants to be with that young brother. With his pants hanging down. Dad, you can't feed me. This rap nigga over here got a stack of money. So the Lord is rubbing in Esau's face, man. Your kingdom is done, man. Read. Yeah, read on. And he said a certain man had two sons. Oh, that's it on that. So the Lord is letting you know, man. The roles are reversing now. So now, what's left? Especially convert to Revelation. Give me uh, Revelation 16, 17. What's left in Babylon? Nothing, man. Like I said, what are you going to trust in these guys? It's a total fiasco. They said the entire Democratic Party is embarrassed, man. They are embarrassed. The man is old as damn dirt. Go sit his ass down somewhere. <laughs> Trump, Trump said it. He don't even know what he just said. <laughs> well, these devils are finished, man. These devils are finished. All right. These devils are done, man. He said he don't even know what he said right now. 
because your kingdom is done. Read, King. Uh, Revelation 16 and 17. God. And the seventh angel poured out his bell into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. It is done, man. What the? God, this kingdom is done. Right. It is oh. done. If you, if you, you so called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, if you still trusting in America, your ass is done. Right. If you can't see this place is finished, it is done. And you gonna trust in these leaders now? You gonna try to form a shallow mama? And you might as well pull a damn rabbit out of the hat, man. And uh, uh, the Obama said they they kind of said they finished with politics. They they interview uh uh, uh Barack, he's like, ah, oh. you know what I'm saying? That man got a full head of their brain. <laughs> America stress me out, man. They don't really want, they don't want to see no more politics. But it's so bad, they're getting desperate, man. They said, your president looks so bad up there, they just said, anybody please run for the Democratic nomination because this guy is done. So that's what's happening, man. This place is gone. So you got to look into the true Messiah. Give me Isaiah 9 and 5. Read Revelation again. You gotta look into the true Messiah, who the world instantly calls the Mashiach. Because that's the future, man. That's the future leadership. There's no leadership in this society. The scriptures tell you the leaders of this people cause them to error. Now, where's your black leaders? Who, who are your so-called black leaders going to tell you to vote for them? They gonna take? They gonna still tell you? You simple Negroes, they still going to tell you to vote for, for Biden? Why? Because when he left, when Biden left the debate, he went to Raleigh and went to a damn Waffle House <laughs> and shook some Negroes' hands and ate some damn food high in cholesterol. Some damn Waffle House food. <laughs> Waffle House is, that's the after the club food, man. Three, four, five o'clock in the morning when nothing else is open. You want some greasy ass eggs and and saw him uh, uh, waffles or whatever. The man go down to Raleigh and, and smile up the nigga's face at a waffle house. He still do like that thing with us, man. You niggas are in the waffle house. <laughs> the man, that's stereotypical. I want to go please the Nicholas. Let me go to a waffle house. Let me go to the after club restaurant. This place is done. Three King. Revelation 16 and 17. Good. And the seventh angel pour out the bell into the air, and there came out a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. It is done, man, and it's a, it's a wrap. So repent and come back to these laws. Read what you got, King. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 5. Bring it For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. What do I say? For every battle of the warrior. Every battle of the warrior, go ahead. Is with confused noise. It's with confused noise. Go ahead. And garments rolled in blood. Go ahead. But this shall be with burning. This is going to be with burning. Go ahead. And fuel of fire. I Meaning it's going to be a nuclear war. And you see Russia, man, they had their nuclear subs off the coast of Georgia. Right. They're not playing. The most are not playing in these last days, man. This place is done. Why you got two criminals, two criminals, not allowed to set the floor <laughs> right? So you got a you got a society that's falling apart. And the enemy is saying, look, man, we right up on the coast. We right, we right there in Georgia, man. With a damn nuclear silver point. And they was off the coast of Miami and Russia just invading all in. All up in America space. Then remember uh 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 Trump told Biden, ah oh, man, you just let Russia take land from America. He's talking about Ukraine. <laughs> and Trump said, that would have never happened if I was in the office. <laughs> so they would have never took Ukraine. The man said, basically, that's what took. The man just took, they took Ukraine. They G-checked and took Ukraine. He basically was calling them Biden soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saw. Right? Now you know Esau, the Esau. They sound, they sound like the, they sound like the typical street nigga now. <laughs> the man told Biden, ah, the Biden told him, ah, ah, you had sex with the prostitute. 
You had sex with a porn star while your wife was pregnant. <laughs> You was, with a, <laughs> you was with a hoe. You was with a hoe. Three <laughs> things would be. We don't have three. But up to us, you can be honest. Give me, give me absolute like, six. Uh, and then Biden. I would think you gotta come in. And then Biden called Trump a sucker. He yes. said, you a sucker. They sound like Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, that's why your son got caught with a murder and some crack. Yeah, The most high mockery. Master of mockery. <laughs>
All right, so that was the uh, what he was saying right here. But he said, the disciples said, are you going to at this time, give me a second of the second check. At this time, restore the kingdom unto Israel? Lord, at this time, if you, you got a, a, a guy that's so old and seen out and destroyed, they call him for the black, they call him for the show. What? They still go to Kamala. Yeah, they said, the hell with you. They said, the hell with Kamala. Kamala, go somewhere with Fat Joe and, and, uh, and do the Dougie and dance to some damn hip hop. Yo, go get Michelle. <laughs> we'll take anything but this old scene out of This nigga is finished, man. There was one part where he looked up to the side, he was like, he was sleeping with his eyes open. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. He just froze up. Yo, it was one time the man, the man looked like a demon, right. a zombie, a rat, and a snake all in one. Right, right, right. All in one, man. And that button, that's a scary ass looking devil, man. Right. I mean, when you got the spirit, yeah, I was like, you can look at my eyes. But if you ain't in the spirit, that devil looks scary as hell. Right. His eyes and... Just look like he's gonna drop dead, man. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He had sex with a porn star. What do you want to break it? The most high is the master of mockery. Oh, the no. most high power, your power, by Shiva Mashiach, is the master of mockery. By Shiva Mashiach. Shiva Mashiach. Read, read, King. Who's me? Yeah, me. Second Edges 7 and 10. Me. The book of Second Edges, chapter 7 and verse 5. Bring out. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Give us, Lord, we, we, we humbly ask you, give us our portion. Because this kingdom is done. Me. Because for their sakes for I made the world. For what? For their, their sakes I made the world. He said, Israel's portion because I made the world for them. Damn, Tim, right? <laughs> How are you going to be president of your convicted felon? <laughs> <laughs> the best of my, my case is on the field. My finish, man. It is done. And that's the Lord did that. Right. The master of mockery of your kingdom. So what, what do we bring all that out for? You love to say, oh, all you guys do is stand in the corner and talk about the light man. Because you Negroes can't take your head up out of his damn mouth. Like that's why. Because we're showing you, if you still want to trust in this man, after the complete mockery that the Lord is making of him, then you'll ask me to die with him. Straight up. Give me Ecclesiastes 4.13. Right in the Ecclesiastes 4.13. You need to die with him, man. And you give me a six month man to be sure. Let's get the classics, man. Right, because what? This society, the scriptures, our elders and leaders were telling us about this stuff years ago, man. And we had to have faith and believe in it and understand that these things are going to come to pass. Right? Who are you voting for? Who are you voting for? You don't know? You saw the face? You didn't go watch it, man. I'm like, oh, you know? Huh? Just go check it out. Right, and, and come back and let us know what you think. I read. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 13. Yeah. Better is the poor and the wise child. The Lord said, better is the poor and the wise child. Where is spiritually the poor and the wise children? This is not our kingdom. Right. This is not our kingdom. Right. 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 His ass gonna be just like Diddy real soon. Right. All his dirty little secrets gonna come out. Uh, what you bragging? He's a billionaire. That's why he's hiding. They said, uh, 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 "Oh, there's two million, there's two million African American millionaires in America." So what? What are they really doing for these people? And most of them are probably compromised. Oh, don't send it to back up. They just work hard for their money. Okay, that may be the case, but their money cannot save their nation. Uh -huh. That's just some, some, some some rich niggas. Right. Like Chris Rock said, they're not even wealthy, they rich. Right. Black people are wealthy. They up niggas that, niggas uh, are rich. Yeah, they, they up in that bit. The, gate, the building is gay. They got the light over the building. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And Simeon said that he said, I think Biden is here. They had the whole thing locked down. So Biden's over there. So you can imagine it, what they do. Yeah. Ecclesiastes yeah. chapter 4, verse 13. Yeah. That is a poor and a wise child. It's better to be the poor and a wise child than an yeah. old and foolish king. And a what? Than an old and a foolish king. And Biden is literally, this is literally Biden. Man. At least Trump still got a little bit. He still got his wits. That Trump is stick with his damn tongue. Right, right. He said, "This man, this man is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ran this, he ran this country 